warn your kids. Don't try this at home for your viewing pleasure only. DJ Weekly Show on the set seat. And get comfy on the couch, this remote, please. Grab your 40 or your slurpee. It's time. DJ Weekly Show. Ready, set, go. DJ Weekly Show. It's that time. DJ Weekly Show. Ready, set, go. DJ Weekly Show. <laughs> Welcome back to the DJ Weekly Show. America edition. Oh yeah. We have an awesome show for you this time. Lots of fun, facts, and variety to choose. Plus uh, tons of stuff that you can really use. Oh yeah. Sound familiar, right? All right. So we have America stuff, the top three badass presidents of all time. How to Vape Liquor and Alcohol on the YouTube edition. Yeah! And also, Sky High Moments with Lewis. We have Daryl S. in the Casa. And introducing the musical stylings of Young Faith. All right. It's DFOB, Game Changer. All right. And we have shout outs Jesus, America, The Kim Folk, Tucson, Tone Loco. Andrew D, Eric D, Stephen H, Joseph A, Chase A, Sarah G, so awesome, Dave I, Kim W, Waking Up Books, Jim W, uh, Builders and Destroyers, Chase W, John G, Chad G, Monica R, Dominic M, awesome, and uh, James W writes in, America, the land of the free, if you can afford the permits, license, and fees. <laughs> Pretty cool. Also, RDP Laird, oh, RDP, Laird M, Dre M, Dia, Laura G, Dynasty Productions, Quentin B, Sonia M B, Leandro K, and you. Thanks for tuning in. You rock. Woo! Awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll be taking your calls in the last five minutes of the show. So get your answers ready, callers. What do you love most about America? <clears throat> All right. Can't wait to hear those answers. Um, America's been great to me. Sure, I've been beaten up by the police, believe it or not. But I deserved it. So things happen for a reason. I still love America. And all the opportunity it has available. So keep dreaming, everybody. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Hold on to that <laughs> I have the cutest little short-tailed cat named Brownie. And, uh, he was actually born with no tail, but um, his brothers have short tails. Um, but he's a little sweetie. Uh, one day he was hanging out while I was putting down the food for him, and he was he has stomach problems. <laughs> well, anyway, out of nowhere, he lets out this loud fart like a little jet engine and it even kind of scared me a little bit it's like Free! and he was like <laughs> and then he just took off running because it scared him so bad <laughs> it was so hilarious <laughs> i love that little cat he's funny yeah so i was cracking up so hard when it happened <sighs> he got his name from the cleveland browns of course which i'm a huge fan of yeah, I believe the Browns will do good this year. I hope they make it to the Super Bowl even. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> American football rocks. And did you know um, America gets its name from the explorer Amerigo Vespucci? It's true. I just found that out recently. Amerigo was his name. Weird. Yeah. That was a, a hidden message. <laughs> All right. And let's see. There's also some good stuff. Let's see. Happy birthday, Cheyenne. Love you. Jasmine, happy, happy birthday to you, too. Pretty cool. So pretty soon, let's see. Something's missing here. Oh, no, there it is. Good. I was starting to wonder, like, what's happening? <coughs> All right. So today in history... This is a, a time lapse through the continental U.S. It's a little low, but 
you got to see the skies. <laughs> uh, 432, St. Celestine I ends his reign as Catholic Pope. 1586, Sir Walter Raleigh, the gentleman, brings first tobacco to England from Virginia. In 1713, 1713, Russia and Turkey sign peace treaty. Mm, I love Turkey. I love peace. <laughs> I love 1789, Congress establishes Department of Foreign Affairs, State Department. All right, in 1844, this is funny. Well, not so funny, but it, it, you'll hear why. 1844, fire destroys U.S. Mint at Charlotte, North Carolina. 18, oh, 1866, Atlanta Telegraph successfully laid 16,086 miles. And uh, Philip Pratt unveils first electric automobile in 1888. Orville Wright tests first U.S. Army airplane. Where is it at? <laughs> Oh, 1844, fire destroys U.S. men at Charlotte North, Charlotte, North Carolina. So the thing, same day it was built, the same day it was burnt down. Crazy. Uh, 1940, Bugs Bunny debuts in Wild Hair. It's pretty cool. Google it. YouTube it. It's fun. 1941, Germany Ar Army enters the Ukraine. Same year. 1941, Cleveland breaks uh, the record for July, reaching 103 degrees. In 1950, President Truman promises aid to Taiwan. Today, 1954, arms assists divide Vietnam into two countries. And up next is Young Faith, DFOB, Game Changer. Happy birthday, Cheyenne! Yeah! It's Young Faith, YZ, Funk Volume 2013. DJ Hopper. Power, power equals change. Power change cause major problems. Problems, problems equal pain. Money equals power. Power equals change. Power change cause major problems. I'm riding around and I'm getting it. I'm making this bread and I'm spinning it. I'm banging the blocks, avoiding them cops. If I see him, I'm gone with the quickness. I'm giving them more than they ask for. So they get enough, they won't need more. The faith on the boost, spitting heat from the chick from the spot. And it's not behind closed doors. I'm killing this blow and I'm gone. Now back at it, now backed out, now flamed up, now swagged out, now wood deep, now wood rich, and I stay strapped, now wood bitch. I ain't gotta prove shit to my resume. I'm a hood motherfucker for the final day. You talk about it, but you ain't got it, about it. Run fine high, I'm just stuck in traffic. Hold up, slow down. That motherfucker, I'm stuck in the fast lane. Hot low punk, let me down. So how my mind so gone? Can't see which way I'm going, but I just carry on. My course is set for greatness, so I'm just holding on. We gon' hold it all in the way that I'm free in the brave, free in the brave. I'm taking my place, making a whole bunch of races. I'm ripping the stage, ripping the stage, releasing my rage. And I'm speaking the truth when I step in the booth. I ain't telling you lies, but I'm keeping it real. I'm on over my hood. I'm a soldier for real. Yeah. My name is Young Fake. You don't know about six two when I'm fit to do. When I'm tatted up, when I'm kind of rude, it's my way, work the highway. But that's okay, cause I get paid. You work hard, you get played. I play hard and I get laid. Backing it up. Stacking it up, strapping it up, cause I'm fucking the game And I'm backing this bitch in the back, getting brain Fucking the good, now she's screaming my name Hit it so good, make her tell all her friends Now they all looking like, let's get it in They trying to creep and get me to go cheat And go tell all my ass so that I won't catch it But I spy on the way to proceed on my way Because I ain't the one to get caught in them games, uh If you ride for me, then I ride for you And that's what I do, uh Yo, you my baby dog, and I ride for y'all And I die for y'all, yeah And this is no shit, I got full tanks, I got full clips My hood's deep, my tools creep And we stand strong like concrete What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up, astronauts? Tucson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Word. What's yeah. happening? Okay, yeah. so we're in space. All right. So we got Louis G in the casa. What yeah. up, Louis? Chilling, man. Trying to down, make that money as much as <clears throat> it can get it as it comes. If it don't come, we gotta go get it. So Give me that money. <laughs> 
Awesome. Gerald? I need about tree fitting. <laughs> Everybody, Gerald Smith. <laughs> yeah! All right. And that was uh, Young Faith. That's who that be. And uh, yeah, is, yep. Young Faith, you can look it up on Facebook or Google it. They're rocking the 740. Oh, yeah. Booyaka, South End. Booyaka. That's what they call South Side there. South End. Or like North End. You know what I mean? No sides. And trippy, right? No sides. Two, two pieces, pieces of chicken and no sides. Like no right. sides, please. Midvale. <laughs> That's Midvale. That's Mid End. It's not Mid Valley. It's Midvale. Ah, oh, I yeah. see. Stupidness. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So, would you ever want to live on another planet? <clears throat> I would. All right. What planet? <laughs> <laughs> I would live probably on Mars. Live. No, on a cold planet. Like I, I would like, man. You probably won't live on Uranus. No other place like Earth, for real. Like, like if Mars or Venus and no other places like Earth, then I would probably just be like cold, cold blooded. <laughs> cold blooded. Mm. How about you, Gerald? I don't even know. I don't even know, man. <laughs> we just celebrated our independence. Yeah. Yeah. Fourth of July. Woo woo. What did you do for Fourth of July? I was in North Carolina. Awesome. Yep. How was it? Loved it. Loved it. To all my family up in North Carolina, a two way stand up. Love y'all. Y'all rock. I'll send you the link to the show. Awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful yeah. out there, right? Very beautiful. Yeah. It was hot as hell, but hey, you know. It's what it is. It's been crazy uh, hot, like all across the country. Me and my cousin got chased by something with some green eyes, but... What? That's Plymouth Rock. That's Jamestown. Hmm. Get it. Get it's it, a yeah. notable beginnings. Get it, girl. These are like some of the first places we came to in America. Mm. Here, guess whose house that is? George Washington. No. Yeah! yeah! Oh. That's, how many po- That's a thousand points. You just won the game, everybody. Hey, drinks on... <laughs> Him for me tonight. Yeah. Winner! Winning! All right. Oh, and 2003 uh, from the Mount Rushmore made the top three badass presidents. And that's going to be coming up in a little bit. Yeah. All right. And since the news is always like bad news and stuff, so I decided let's have some <clears throat> good news and let's do some awards. So we got an award coming up here shortly. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Instead of bad news all the time, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, give it to people that need some love in their life. Here's the Independence Hall. See that? Oh, yeah. Reserve. Just writing the Constitution here. All right. Was we the last meal? Were, we're all the founders of the Constitution right now. Oh. Oh. Stars away. All right. Here we go. Hey. The Shiny Apple Award. This goes to Tamar Boggs of Cleveland. We wish you a healthy and satisfying life. Okay, it's pretty crazy. He heard about this little girl that was just recently missing. <clears throat> so him and his ho- homeboy, they're like, they have bicycles, and he's like, let's go look for her. And they went look, they couldn't find her. So they like, let's look a little, let's look again. And so they go, bam, he finds her. The guy lets her out of the car, and he gets her to authorities. It's pretty awesome. Way well, to go, Tamara Biggs. Yeah, wait, don't never give up. Right. And here's the it. Slurpee Award. And guess who this goes to? 7-Eleven. Liberal Democrats for sucking so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a hand. Let's give him a hand. You know what really grinds my gears? Grinds them. What grinds them? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> <laughs> they voted God out of their platform to begin with, which just stupid. threw me out of the loop for them. It's like, oh, man. what? And then uh, the Republican Party. I'm not a Republican. I'm an independent voter, so... I'm a hippie. Uh, the Republican Party doesn't have a socialist wing, but the Democratic Party does. Yeah. So that's trippy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yes, it's like, mm. And that Prius commercial, um, it's like, a Prius for everyone. It's like, I didn't vote for Obama, so I definitely don't want a Prius. But the whole thing is, a mm. Prius for everyone. It's like, I don't, I don't want a Prius. We shouldn't all have to have a Prius. You know what I mean? I know, right? You, so, like, you, you can't. You see, the what thing is with Prius. Camaro? The yeah. thing, is, the Lexo. thing Lexo. is with Prius, man, you know, as a dude, you know, the thing is about Prius, you can't, you can't look hard with a Prius. <laughs> Females will look down on you go up in the club with a Prius. That's why I'm single. I don't drive a Prius, but I'm just saying, you know, women will look down on you. Dudes, do not drive Priuses. 
<laughs> I'm just saying. You cannot get the ladies like that. Tucson, feel me. You cannot get the ladies like that. I know. I can't even get a woman. I'm just saying. Don't drive a Prius. <laughs> don't drive a Prius. I don't care what Toyota says. Don't drive a Prius. Listen American to Jeff Dunham. Space. Okay, Great American Minds. Louis yeah. G., he's one of them. Gerald S., he's one of them. Can you think of any other Great American Minds? My mother. My mom, she's actually... Yeah, my mom's actually a superhero in my mind, but yeah. Awesome. America, A Horse With No Name. It's a band, and that's a song. You aren't they, so, aren't, aren't they the same group that made that song, uh, no. Goodbye, Miss America, something Let's like that? Uh, I think bye, that bye, bye, Miss American Pie. That Throw my Johnny Chevy something. to my levy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, it's liftoff time with Blues. Check this out. I take on the weekends. That's my homie over there to the left. When you see that, we going. Yep, sky high with Lewis. All right. So, um, when were the Blue Angels formed? They formed in 1946. That's when they all came together and became like just the group. They 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 were six pilots. They want to do demonstrations around the world and at the same time train. <coughs> Yep. So, oldest American flying team right there. Yep. Yep. What type of uh, planes do they fly? This is what they fly, but F-18 what is it? Hornets. That's awesome. Like the, the, the same airplane that Will Smith flew in Independence Day. Oh, yeah. damn. Check that out. Yes, that is cool. The oldest American flying aerobic team. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. On March 1st, to, uh, 2013, the Navy announced due to sequestration acts that aerial performance would cease April 1st, 2013. It wasn't an April Fool's joke. That's a joke. So what made them stop is the question. This well, at government outings. Uh, yeah, they got business to handle because of, uh, um, at that point, it probably been Bin Laden. Saddam. Yeah, there was like budget yeah. cuts and that was like one of the ones that went. But um, they had a TV show in the 1960s. Which is pretty cool. I never got yep. to see it because I wasn't around then. Yeah. But you might be able to see it on YouTube <clears throat> or something. Take off. Take off into adventure with four men who fly as one. And when's the um, training? training? Do you know? Every winter. Take it down. It's in it El in. Centro. I guess that's California. You ever heard of El Centro? El Central. Yeah, El Central. I've heard of it. I passed through it probably. Downtown. It's Going cool. Down. They fly two practice sessions per day, six days a week. Mm-hmm. And Mondays is the Blues Days Off. So just remember that. So when you get the Blues on Mondays, just remember it's the Blues Days Off. <laughs> and the initial maneuvers were perfected in secret over the Florida Everglades. So that if anything happened, only the alligators would know. Ooh. Ooh. And the first show was in on May 10th, 1946, and it was met with enthusiastic approval. All right, and look at that. Here's the presidents in the background. Oh, who's that? It, we're going through the whole list of them, so starting with number one. But we're going to do the top three badass presidents of America. Yes. Number three, Teddy Roosevelt. While campaigning for his third term, third term, yes, he was shot by a madman. Instead of getting treatment, he gave his campaign speech with a bleeding hole in his chest. Isn't that amazing? Good guy. That's a medal of honor. That's badass. That's what it was. Um, Number two, George Washington for making America. Duh. The album much more badass than you get than that, you know. Dalla dalla. Only got $20 in my pocket. And this one is crazy. Andrew Jackson, Old Hickory, that's what they called him, because he was known for beating people senseless with his hickory cane. During his president, he dueled. Wow. You know the five, take five steps and shoot? Yeah. He did that. Some say in the hundreds. Some say 13. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So he was, uh, yeah. So he was glad for many drinks he had that night. Ah, he was the first president attempted to be assassinated. The guy came up with two pistols, and both misfired. So what did he do? Beat him with his old hickory stick. Wow. And his aides had to pull him off. And then he 
<coughs> what? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> Let's see who we're at. John F. Kennedy. Oh, yeah. JFK was the man. Yo. He was the I player president. I'm not a cook. <laughs> I'm not a cook. That's the, that's the Bill Clinton. Mr. Bill Clinton, Bob Dole, Ronald Bob Reagan. Dole. Bob Dole. <laughs> Bob Dole. Bob, Bob Dole. Bob Dole. <laughs> My feral Americans. <laughs> All right. I love America. Doors. And Ten government five. is not the answer. You are the answer. All right. Guess what? Let's take some calls. People call in. Get to your phones. Call me right now, please. Tell, Tell us, us now. What you love about them. America? We what can talk at the same time. Don't drive Priuses. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A Republican and a Democrat were walking down the street when they see a homeless man. The Republican gives the homeless man a business card and tells him to see him about a job and gives him $20. The Democrat was impressed. So the next homeless person they come across, the Democrat points him in the direction of the welfare office, reaches in the Republican's pockets and gives him $50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. And, um, <laughs> and under Obamacare, can you get coverage for pre-existing conditions? Mm. Certainly. As long as they don't need treatment. <laughs> oh, this might hurt some people's feelings. Did you hear Obama got three million in campaign contributors from abroad? Turns out that broad was Oprah. Winfrey. <laughs> Wait, hey, let me give you another drum, drum, drum on that. Hey, we got a caller. Let's take the caller. What's up, caller? Yeah. Hello. Hey. Yo. What, up? what do you love about America? Yeah, it's about the America and uh, um, the Prius. You can't get no girl with the Prius. <laughs> just saying, homie. I'm just saying. That's for sure. I got you right there, my dog. <laughs> you see? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You can't do it. And, uh, you know, America's cool because I'm traveling state to state, you know. That's what's up. You don't drive no Prius, right? No passports. <laughs> No passport. Yeah. Yep. No Prius, my dude. No, no my passport. Dude, state to sure state. Just make awesome. Six hundred. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I thought about getting one of those. Six hundred. Yeah. I thought about getting one of those. All right. Well, I wish you the best of the luck. Thanks for calling okay. in. I'm gonna get to the next caller, but rock on, man. Thank you. Keep it rolling. Calling caller. What's up? What do you love about America? Caller, what's up? What do you love about America? Caller, what's up? What do you love about America? Caller, what's up? What do you love about America? Caller, <laughs> We're examining it. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> Are you freaking serious? Oh my god. Call it, call it. Come on, man. That was fun. We did it successfully. Hilarious. Oh, nice though. Yeah, thanks for calling in. And thanks for the Skrillex call. That was really cool. Call in, call it, call it, call it, call it, call it. Peanut butter, jelly top. Peanut butter, jelly top. Peanut butter. Oh man. We get live on the show, so I mean, I mean, if y'all watch the show, just watch and learn how to laugh. You ain't got sense of humor. The Dixons, you rock. Upcoming birthdays: Brittany P, Melissa D H, Christy S, Tiffany J. Happy birthday. It's so hot in Arizona, the cows give evaporative milk. Let's give a shout out. Shout out. Shout out to my son, Louis. Shout out to Larissa, my daughter, my mom, my <coughs> dad, uh, all my family, all the G's, all my cousins, everybody in Phoenix, all the people down at the Converge, you know what I mean? My babies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, never mind that one. You know what I mean? Everybody. Yeah. Man, I love two sons. Yeah. <laughs> my babies. Um, Joe. Shout out to my mother, uh, my dad, my family back in not, the 916 stand, one, stand up, 828 stand up, uh, my ex, psych! Oh. We're <laughs> out. Uh, We're everybody off. else, y'all rock, don't drive Priuses. <laughs> it's the BK Weekly Show.
It's Detroit's chance to show you what they've been working on. Detroit is now the largest U.S. city to file for bankruptcy. That it was an appropriate time to file for Chapter 9 protection. Detroit's decline can be blamed on numerous factors. And as long as I'm president, that's what we'll keep doing. Quit making excuses. Quit making excuses for everything that you're not. Give it.